Hi friends, in this session we'll be explaining on how to create these screeners both for intraday time frame as well as for end of the day UD time frame also. Now normally being a trader, many times it becomes difficult for us to go through each and every charts manually and then to scan for the right opportunities over the chart over the graph there given that humongous amount of data comes in from the NSE every second every minute there. This is where the screeners they come into picture to help you out to configure your strategies or to configure your settings. What I mean to say is you can uh, how good it would, uh, would it be if you can configure your setup over a page and let the machine or let the tool do the work for you for you and let the machine scan out the opportunities for you and show the results directly. And that is where we use the screeners to scan for the markets to access the intraday and UD screeners. You need to come to this tool section in the tool section. You'll find this more option available. Just click on that more option and then a page like this opens up. Now here you can create intraday screeners for people who do normally who normally uh, are into intraday trading. They if they want to create any intraday screeners, then they can click on this link. Similarly, for people who are into positional trading, and they want to create any EOD end of the day technical screener, they can click on this link here. Uh, let's get into intraday, intraday screeners once. Now in the intraday screener page, you'll be finding different time frames available. You can select, you can filter from among different time frames available. Say you want to scan from scan for a five minute tick or a 15 minute tick or a 30 minute or 60 minute tick. These options are available here. And second, second thing, you can categorize from a, among a group of stocks. Say if you, for example, you want to scan from among only future and option stocks or Nifty 50 stocks or the Nifty. Similarly, if you want to scan from Nifty 500 stocks or the mid cap one, all these options you'll find under this stock categorization list. Say, for example, uh, let me take the case of only future and option stocks. And then on the time frame, uh, see, I select a 15 minute time frame here, 15 minute candle here. And downside, you'll be you'll be able to see the name of all the standard indicators available. Say you may be a trader trading on moving averages, or you may be using RSI, or you may be using Bollinger Band, or you may be using Ichimoku for that purpose, or a super trend for that purpose. Here, here on the page itself, you'll be finding the name of all the standard indicators available. And adjacent to each of the indicator, there will be a drop-down box available. You just need to click on that drop-down box and it will show a list of parameters. Now all you got to do is select a parameter according to your requirement. Select a parameter according to your criteria. Say for example on a 15 minute tick I want to check for all those stocks where the RSI is above 60. So I selected this RSI above 60 and it's showing me some 20 records, 20 results downside. Now along with RSI above 60 which is a bullish condition say I want a super trend crossover also. Say simultaneously, yes. Simultaneously, you can combine two, three different indicator conditions to create your own strategy. Say, for example, you have got any strategy of your own, you can configure that over the screener page here. So with RSI, I'm combining a super trend crossover, a bullish condition. And here downside it shows, it's showing me one record itself, that is Dabur. So what it did is from among a group of stocks among from among some 218 odd stocks it filtered out and it's showing me this one record here which is Dabur where there has been a super trend crossover and at the same time the RSI is also above 60. So let's come to the charts here to ch check on the charts you just need to click on this link here and it will open up the chart page for you. Also, at the same time, if you want to uh, say any stock you have saved in your watch list and you want to run this screener setup on that particular watch list, that can also be done from here. Now, in this Dabur, for example, on a 15 minute candle, we put the indicator which is a super trend and second one will be the RSI that is relative strength index. So as scanned in the result, if you see here, this particular last candle here, the RSI crossover has happened in the last candle. And also at the same time, the RSI 
value currently it is a 61.84 which has just uh, just gone above 60 so that is how you can create any screener page uh, as a created on the intraday screener page similarly you can create a screener on eod candles also for that you just need to click on this eod technical screener page and then similarly here also you can you can filter from among a group of stocks say future and options i take the future and options stocks and any moving average crossover any MACD crossover all the configurations are readily available here in case if you miss out on some you can always get back to us at our support numbers and we'll help out help you out with you for any queries you can you can call us at 8050502121 or you can write to us at support at radarscopy.com uh, for any subscription or software related queries thank you friends hope it was clear to all of you now what i just explained was how to create the screeners how to create the screeners on the page here and how to check for the results over the chart say once we put in any conditions here then downside it shows a list of results and then if i want to confirm it over the charts then i can click on the chart link here and it will direct me to the chart page but what if i'm not in a position to be in front of the system throughout the market hours in that case uh, like what if i want a notification on the alerts whenever any alert generates on this condition i want to have an have a notification for that there is an easy way out for the same <clears throat> once any screener is created over the page here it is very much possible to generate to activate the alerts on that alerts in the form of sms's <coughs> and emails for that you just need to save the screeners say once you create any screener just go on to save the screener here say for example i clicked on the save screener button let me just refresh the results once again and then click on the save screener button so when i when we click on the save screener button it will ask you to name the screener say for example we name it as super trend crossover we name it as super trend crossover and then here there will be an option to activate the sms and email alerts uh, so what you got to do is just click on this checkbox here in case you want sms and email notification on the screeners which you have created just click on this checkbox once and then here in the receive sms uh, in the initial time you can put in the initial timing of the market from the point when you want to get the sms alerts that will be that initial point will be put here initial time will be put here say we want it from 9 15 or we want it from 9 30 and stop sms after here you need to indicate till what point of time you want the sms alerts or where when you want to end the sms alerts say for example markets close at 3 30 so we take that as the last time of sms notifications sms or email notifications so put it as the closing time and sms interval every 15 minutes as we have created a screener on 15 minute setup so corresponding to that the sms interval you can put it as 15 minute itself and then go on to save the screener once saved once the screeners are saved they get they come and sit in this my stock screener my saved screeners page from here you can directly check out which are screeners you have saved in the my stock screener page and from here you can directly execute the screeners also hope it is clear to all of you friends for any doubts you can always write to us or call us at our support numbers thank you when it loads the page